One of the big questions I'm getting this week is, how do I trade in a vehicle that I owe more money to the bank than that vehicle is worth? And there are a litany of things you can do. I'm going to give you one example. But first, let's explain what does negative equity mean or what does it mean when the lender tells you or the car dealer says you're upside down? It means the amount of money that you owe to the bank for the loan that you secured to purchase that vehicle exceeds the value of the vehicle. The value of the vehicle is set by guides like NADA guide, or you can go to places like True Car and other sites like that to determine the current value of your vehicle. You have to do things like put in the make, model, your mileage, and be honest about the condition of your vehicle. Because no matter what you say your vehicle condition is, if you take that vehicle to trade it in, a dealer is going to evaluate the condition of your vehicle and they're going to set the price. So don't waste your time fooling yourself saying your car is in perfect condition, excellent condition when you know it's not. Put the real thing in so you can make real financial decisions. The next thing you want to do, reach out to your lender, whoever you secured the loan from to purchase that vehicle, reach out and ask them for a payoff. It's important to ask for a 10 day payoff. You want to know if I pay this loan off in full within the next 10 days, how much will I have to send you in order to satisfy the terms of the loan? The bank will then give you a dollar amount that is good for 10 days. Note, if you don't pay that loan off in 10 days, that number is no good and you have to request another payoff. Next thing you do, look online and see if there are any car companies that you're interested in offering rebates. Rebates are cash incentives that manufacturers offer to the consumer to incentivize you to purchase their vehicle. I saw one in particular today when I was looking. The list is posted here. Chrysler has a up to $7,500 rebate on their minivan, the Chrysler Pacifica. This is just an example. It's $7,500. If you find yourself in a situation where you owe more than your vehicle is worth, but it's less than $7,500, you could theoretically trade your vehicle in, get a new Chrysler Pacifica, use that $7,500 rebate from the manufacturer, apply it toward the negative equity in your vehicle, and you can get a loan for that new Chrysler Pacifica at 100% of its value. If you have a decent credit score, we're talking mid 600s and higher. If you have a good automotive payment history, meaning you have made your payments on your vehicle on time for the extent of your loan, you have a greater chance of qualifying for a 100% loan, meaning you don't have to put any money down. But if you have saved some money, do yourself a favor and prevent getting into another negative equity situation by putting down cash. Try putting down 15%. If you're buying a vehicle that's $40,000, try to put down 15% of that value to cover the tax, the tag and licensing fees, and those dealer fees, because you don't want to finance those on top of the value of the vehicle and put yourself in another negative equity situation. We'll have a list here of all the rebates that are offered currently as of January. Check it out. See if any one of those might help you. And stay tuned for more tips from the Auto Insider.